competency-based education to me is really specializing your strategy of teaching, the way the teachers um, show us our education, specializing it for each of our needs of as students and the way that we learn can be different from each other. It's self-directed learning. You get to choose what you want to do, how you want to do it, how long you want to spend on it. Um, it's, it's learning that's catered to you and your personality and what you want to do. What constantly based education is to me is, is I would say how are teachers able to go off things. So if something is not being able to be read through correctly or if some students just don't understand the concept at all, how will they go off of that? Like will they, will they help them more or they, they like push them aside and be like, hey, so if you don't understand that we can like pull up a Google Meet, or I can have some of this worksheets for you or some assignment that's gonna help you understand this a little bit more. I think confidence-based learning is when you have your own, when you yourself, your own mentality, wants to learn on your own scale. Say, if you only feel like you are gonna do that meet, sometimes your mentality can decide whether you want to exceed or do you just want to meet. And that's where it comes, like I said, to mentality. But if you feel like you don't have that, um, your teachers are always there to help you for that. Schools and districts around the country are looking for alternative teaching methods that engage students and provide a more personalized approach to ensure students have rigorous, relevant classroom experiences. Competency-Based Education, or CBE, offers a solution and is different from traditional models of education. It personalizes learning based on the needs of the learner. It's so important to provide opportunities in schools that are relevant in real world and meaningful for students. And when we are in systems that are driven primarily by scope and sequence, the student sometimes gets lost in the mix. And so by personalizing instruction and making sure that students are receiving an education that will be applicable and meaningful to their high school years, their college years, their career, their community, um, it essentially just ensures that we become a more productive community. I think this is really important for schools to embrace because it gives students voice and choice in their own learning and it helps them see the relevance and why they are doing what they're doing every day. As a personalized learning approach, CBE provides a flexible and engaging learning environment in which progression is based on mastery of explicit learning objectives or competencies as demonstrated through evidence of student learning rather than the time spent in a course or topic. A paper published through INACOL, now the Aurora Institute, suggested CBE could replace the traditional education system. So as educators, we know that the traditional approach to teaching and learning is not meeting the needs of students. And it is our more imperative to design an educational program that is personalized, equitable, and inclusive to all students. It's not just on making sure we have taught the standard course of study, it's using the standard course of study in order to teach competencies and skills. CBE forces schools to think about um, skills and about learning and not about grades. Every year, students are promoted from one grade to the next or even graduate high school without having mastered some of the basic skills needed to be successful in their education, career, and life. There is a need for a more comprehensive understanding of what students actually know and can do. Early evidence suggests that students engaged in personalized learning initiatives can improve their academic achievement. And unlike the traditional system, CBE systems more accurately communicate student achievement and do not lead to grade inflation or deflation. One of the challenges in a traditional grading system is that at least some of that grade is due to whether or not a student has submitted an assignment versus whether or not a student truly has mastered a standard. And so I think that's my biggest takeaway with competency-based education is really that we are assessing what the student knows on certain standards and none of the other stuff muddies it up. Even the deeper understanding, children are actually expected to master and therefore they are more, I think, maybe even more intrinsically motivated to 
to dig deeper into content and, and topics of interest. The, the real um, benefit for both teacher and student is that you start having a very uh, meaningful dialogue that you continue to come back to with your students on uh, their progress. So you start really building a growth mindset um, and a deep relationship with each of these students. Um, understanding what they enjoy and what they struggle with in ways that I wasn't able to get from um, traditional assignment-based um, teaching and learning. As part of the Regional Education Laboratory Southeast, the North Carolina Measuring Success Through Competency-Based Learning Research Alliance created the CBE Mastery Framework. The framework development was informed through the review of other CBE frameworks in the field and coaching work directly with schools and districts across the state. Configured around four dimensions of structure, culture, teaching, and learning, the CBE Mastery Framework defines elements thought to be critical in an authentic CBE system. I have a lot of experience that I really wouldn't get from nowhere else. I'm actually really happy that I was able to come to the school when I got the chance. And so he's learned how to balance his life better. And it's just one of the best decisions we could have ever made going in this direction. Um, he has just grown into an incredible young man. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I think it's helpful because um, there are more, there's different ways of learning because some people in the world like learning through reading some through writing, some through hearing, some through some learning. And with me and with our teachers, they experience all of that. And sometimes that's where benchmarks come in. And, and it's not just a test question, it's to know what you're better at, what you're not better at, and that whatever you need to work on, you can work on it in whatever way you like to hear it best. But I really feel competency-based education is something that a lot of different school systems should look into for each of their students to succeed. So I feel knowing that there are kids in other counties or in other states that don't get that opportunity really is sad to me. And I feel each student in America should have the opportunity to learn from that perspective and be able to have their own understanding. This video is the first in a series of videos on CBE that will further explore the CBE Mastery Framework. All videos will be available on the RHEL Southeast website.